Welcome to Pamati Tutorial. Pakinig, manood, at matuto. Sa ngayon, we will discuss scientific notation. Isa ka ba sa nakakita ng ganitong mga numbers at nahihirapan kung paano basahin? How about this number? How about this number? Mas lalong mahirap. How about this one? Mas lalo ring mahirap. Okay. These numbers are used by some scientists and chemists okay? or some professions. Okay? It is because Example ng mga scientists, yung mga biologists, yung mga maliliit na mga bagay ay kinukuha nila kung ano yung timbang, ano yung height, ano yung weight. Then, mostly, ito yung magiging result. Okay. Ito yung magiging result. Kaya, dahil dito, nahihirapan sila sa dami ng zeros. Kasi ang daming zeros, nakikita ninyo, ang daming zeros. Okay, kaya nabuo ang scientific notation. Okay, the scientific notation is simplifies the way we write very large and very small numbers in a compact form. Okay, now scientific notation is in the form of a times 10 raised to the power of n in which a is our whole number and that is any number. Okay, remember? Any number. Pero may condition. Tulad ng sa relasyon ninyo, may condition. Hindi lahat binibigay. Boom! Okay? In which, A is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. Okay? Our number, our whole number here, okay, or our number here, is greater than or equal to 1. Pwede siyang 1, then pataas. Okay. But, there would be a condition less than 10. Okay. Mas mababa siya sa 10. Hindi rin siya equal sa 10. That would be our first condition. Okay. And then, lahat ng yan ay multiply sa 10. Bakit? Kasi nga, tatanggalin natin lahat ng zeros na nandun. Okay, it means we are dividing to the power of 10. That is why our base here will multiply into 10. Okay, that is our base. And always it is base 10. Okay, and that n is our exponent. Okay, in which that exponent is any integer. Ibig sabihin, Pwedeng negative at pwedeng positive. Okay, let's try this. Example number one. Write each number in scientific notation. Example, if we will have this number, we need to write this one into scientific notation. Okay. Then our goal is to write this one in this form, our scientific, the scientific notation form. Okay, let's have this. This would be our given number, okay? Based on this our given, this would be our given number. And remember, in every whole number, the decimal point is where? At the rightmost end, okay? It means, nandito sa right side, pinakahuli, sa right side, nandyan yung decimal point natin, okay? Nandito yung decimal point. Next, our goal for our A, remember, the condition is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. Okay. This number, try to observe kung ito yung isusulat natin sa A, maliit pa ba siya sa 10? Hindi. That is why we need to move the decimal point. Okay, to the left. Ayan. We move decimal point to the left. 
minumove natin. Ayan, yan na na. Ang mangyayari, ito na yung number natin. Then, try to observe. This number is less than 10. Hindi rin. Okay, that is why we move again the decimal point to the left. Ayan. Next, this number is less than 10. Hindi pa rin. Therefore, we move again the decimal point to the left. Ayan. Then, try to observe. This number is less than 10. Hindi pa rin. Therefore, we will move again to the left. Okay. Next, our number here is 23. 23 is less than 10? No. Therefore, we will move again one decimal place. Okay. Next, the remaining number here is 2. 2 is less than 10? Yes, that is less than 10. Okay. Since it is less than 10, pwede na nating isulat as A. Okay. We have here 2.3455. Okay. Ang nawala lang is ang 0. Tinanggal natin yung 0 dito. At isusulat natin yung mga remaining numbers. Then, in scientific notation, meron na tayong A. Then, we will have right times our base which is 10. Okay. On this part, we will find our N. Okay. Our N. But before that, let's remember this one for our N. If the decimal point is moving to the left, the sign of integer or our exponent, okay, the sign of integer or the exponent of the base 10 is positive. Okay. That is positive. Remember, the sign of our exponent is positive. Okay. Since it is positive, we all know already the sign that is positive. Pero ano yung number na ating isusulat? Ano yung number na pwede natin isulat? Okay. We will write those numbers base dito kung ilang beses natin gimove to the left ang decimal point. Okay. How many times ba o ilang beses ba? Okay, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many times? Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, there are 5 times. Therefore, our exponent is positive 5. Okay, dahil dyan, this number in scientific notation form that is 2.3455 times 10 raised to the power of 5. And this would be the scientific notation form of this number. Okay, di ba? Madali lang. Another example tayo. Letter B. If we will have this number, tatanggalin natin lahat ng zeros. Okay, tatanggalin natin lahat ng zeros. Okay, write this one into scientific notation form. Okay, mangyayari, if we will have this number, our given, okay, that would be our given. Remember, in whole number, the decimal point is okay, at the right most end of the whole number. Okay, that would be our decimal point. Nandito yung decimal point natin. Since ang goal natin, that the value of A is less than 10, saan ba natin isusulat yung decimal? Okay. Saan ba? Okay, let's try. If we will move the decimal point here, less than 10 na ba? Hindi. How about this part? Hindi rin. How about that part? Hindi rin. Kung dito natin i-move ang decimal point, hindi rin. Kung dito natin i-move, Hindi pa rin less than 10. Kung dito, less than 10, hindi. Diyan, less than 10, hindi. Less than 10, hindi. Diyan, less than 10, hindi. 
less than 10 ba? Kung dyan natin ilalagay ang decimal point, hindi. Kung dyan natin ilalagay less than 10, we have this number. Less than 10, hindi. Okay? Kung dito natin ilalagay ang decimal point, then, ano natira? 25. Less than 10? Hindi. Therefore, if we will move on this part, okay, it means, eto na siya. Less than 10 na ba? Yes, 2 is less than 10. Therefore, we will move the decimal point on that part. Okay? That would be our decimal point. And then, our scientific notation form, our A, is 2.53. Okay? Sabi ko kanina, tanggalin natin lahat ng 0 na yan. Ang mangyayari, 2.53. Then, times, our base is 10. Then, what would be our exponent? Count the number of places or the decimal point. Ilang beses siya nag-move. Okay, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many times? 13. Therefore, positive or negative? Okay, positive. Kasi nga, it moving to left side. Okay, that is positive 13. And this would be our scientific notation. Diba? Diba? Mas maliit compare dito ng daming zero. Okay, that would be our scientific notation. How about if this number? Okay, you have 0 0.0012. Okay, dito, alam na natin kung nasan yung decimal point which is on this part. Okay, nandyan yung decimal point. Let's find, the, or let's rewrite this one into scientific notation form. Okay. The first one is 0. 0.0012 that would be our first given okay syempre the condition is ang whole number or ang a is greater than or equal to 1 okay itong 0 greater than ba sa 1 hindi maliit pa yan sa 1 okay then saan natin i-move ang decimal. If we will move the decimal point to the left, mangyayari ganito, meron pa bang number nandito? Wala. Therefore, we will move the decimal to the right. Okay. Going right tayo. We will move the decimal point to the right. Okay. Now, if the decimal point is here, we have here 0, 0. Greater than basis sa 1. Hindi. Kasi yun ang condition eh. Greater than sa 1. Hindi. Okay. Since hindi, let's move again our decimal point. Now, if our decimal point is here, ilang zero to? Tatlo. Okay. Now, yan tatlong zero na yan. Greater than ba sa 1? Or equal sa 1? Hindi pa rin. Dahil hindi, we will move again our decimal point. Our decimal point is here. Anong number na nandito? 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Meron tayo dito 1. Pasok ba sa condition? Yes, because A is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, equal sa sa 1, therefore pasok. That's why our decimal point, i-move natin on that part. Therefore, our new number here is 1.2. Okay? 1.2. Then, times 10. Then, ito naman, our N. But before that, take note again, if the decimal point is moving to the right, the sign of the integer or the exponent of the base 10 is negative. Okay? Tandaan, negative. Saan tayo move? Pa left ba o pa right? Pa right. Therefore, our sign of our exponent is positive. Since positive, ay neg sorry, negative, the sign is negative, then we already know that it's negative, but what would be our integer? Okay, let's count. 1, 2, 3. Okay, we move the decimal point 3 times, therefore, 
our integer or our exponent is negative 3. Okay, good job! Magaling na! How about in the fourth example? Okay, let's try this one. How about this number? Okay, yan. We have 0, point, and then the given number. Tama ba? Let's count. Kung tama ba? Pareho lang ba? How many zeros do we have here? 3, 6, 9, 12, and then plus 2, 14. 3, 6, 9, 12, okay, 14. And 3, 6, 9. Okay, change this one into scientific notation form. Again, we will move the decimal place. Kung dyan i-move, pwede na ba? Hindi. Kung dito i-move, pwede na ba? Hindi pa rin. Kung dyan natin i-move, pwede ba? Hindi. Okay. Hanggang saan natin pwede i-move ang decimal point? Hanggang dito sa 3. Because 3 is greater than 2, 1. Okay. Pasok siya sa condition. That's why we will move up to 3. Okay. Hanggang sa 3. Okay. Dahil dyan, we will move our decimal point on that part. In writing the scientific notation, we have now our number, which is 3.69 times 10. Okay. What would be our exponent? Yes, it is negative because we are moving to the right. Then, how many times we move the decimal point? How many times? It is 15 times. Therefore, our exponent is negative 15. Okay. I hope meron kayong natutunan dito sa ating video on how to write those numbers in scientific notation. Okay. Thank you for watching Pamati Tutorial. Makinig, manood, at matuto. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video and pakiclick na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga next natin na video. Okay, goodbye. See you next videos.